in the entire division of Lagos State. Epe has one of the best road networks, being a tourism hub and the new art of Lagos State. Now, talking about this Oke Yumbua Wolawa Road in Epe, it could be recalled that the road has been abandoned for about four to five years now. And during this period, it could be seen as a death trap for riders with no knowledge about the condition of the road. Although all well-meaning sons and daughters of the land have been clamoring for its completion. All thanks to the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babaji Deolushola Sawolu, who has recently ordered the completion of the road. We at a quad log are right here to give you the details of this construction. Please stay with us. If I carry you go banana, my guy, you go love the gossip. You go love If I carry you go to a Lego show, you go love the gossip. The importance of a good road cannot be overemphasized. It goes beyond easy movement for people living around that geographical location, but it also affects the economic and social development of that region positively. This is very good. It will add credit to this area, which others have been enjoying. The people of Ekbe are looking forward to better days as the long abandoned Okio Yimbo Awolowa Road construction in Ekbe is set to be completed. The road which leads to important locations in and out of Ekpe, especially the major markets and Ekpe Council, has caused a lot of inconveniences to the citizens. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has listened to the complaint of the people of Ekpe and has started taking steps to complete the road that has given the people of Ekpe so much to worry about. Thank God, it's a great job done and I credit the governor Deputy Governor, who have already made alliance that uh, they are coming to do it. It's one of the program Governor Sawolu promised us in this town. And this is the only road remaining. And this is called Awolowa Road. Straight to the Tamaro. I think we thank God. We thank God. I give kudos to them. In an interview with the Ulu Ekbe of Ekbe, he appreciated the governor for keeping his promise of completing the road. He expressed a satisfaction as the road construction will give tourists and others passing through Ekpe easier and a more comfortable movement around the town. Oba Sharif Adiwale concluded his speech by urging the people of Ekpe to continue in peace and unity as the leaders are friendly and are at peace as that will bring about more blessings and development in Ekpe. I'm very happy about it. It makes the journey coming, going out of Ekwe to be easier. So I'm very happy about it. Obaba Batunde expressed his joy over the completion of the road. He explained how much he has waited and asked for the completion of the road as it has caused countless accidents. He appreciated Governor Songwolu for the listening to the voice of the people. He seized the opportunity to appeal to the government, especially the Ministry of Education, to look into the educational sector of Ekpe, as there is need for the building of more schools in Ekpe to reduce the rate of crime. He urged his fellow royal fathers to rise up and be more active in issues concerning their community and politics. Oba advised the people of Ekpe to live in unity and be content with whatever achievement they are experiencing as this will help in the development of the community. I commend His Excellency for that. And more, more, more importantly, the, the, the recent incident at Magudo, how he waited in immediately to see that uh, there is no crisis, I commended him too. And I thank him for being taken action See, to, to make sure the uh, contractor go back to the to the site to complete the road road uh, some road uh, project in Ekwe. When you get, when you get to Poka Junction, there are a lot of accidents there because there's no any signal, no any sign. And in the in the afternoon, and all this thing I'm telling you, I've already made a complaint to the Ministry of Works to look into it, and they, they, they responded that they are going to look into it. There is no, there is no any sign if, if any vehicle is coming right from Atlantic uh, a School, joining to a Pejabode Road, 
Uh, sometimes uh, 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 all these trailers cause a lot of accidents at that junction. So then the demarcation or the, or, or, or the road, the, 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 you know, they demarcated the road into two, into two places, the ongoing and the coming, uh, incoming war. So that demarcation at the middle, there's no reflector. In the night, I, I noticed that uh, sometimes, before you know, some cars will climb that demarcation because I noticed that it was maybe the light reflected to the driver so he cannot see anymore from there. He climb over the, the vacation and the, damage the car, the cars, and sometimes life, claim some lives. So I'm using this opportunity to appeal to the authority behind it to gear up, which I, which I think is the Ministry of Works to make sure they, they do something. We need, we need a secondary school. And if, if, they, if, if they can centralize it to Nogoreja, it will be of an advantage. The reason is why we have only Popona in this axis. And we have a lot of communities that are serving Popona. If you go there now, you investigate, you see a lot of students in one classroom, you know? So, uh, every year, almost uh, uh, 300 students are passing out in in number year alone. It's because we have some, we have demonstration school, primary school, and we have LG school, and Imoku is there, Igbola and so on and so forth. They are, they, are, they are all there. So I'm choosing that opportunity to appeal to the government, particularly the Ministry of Education, to come and do their findings to see, to look into my play, my appeal, my play. If they can give us a secondary school, it will reduce a lot of things, especially crime. Because when you, you know, when, when the students have a short location, uh, if the kidnapper, the kidnappers will not be able to trace them or to go and hide some in some corner, waiting for some students. To kidnap. So um, I will appeal to the state government under the able leadership of uh, His Excellency, uh, Governor Sawulu, to give us a secondary school in uh, the North region. Oba Kamorudin appreciated the governor for listening to the people and constructing a standard road for them. He commended him for completing abandoned projects around Lagos as it's something most have not done. He concluded his speech by praying and thanking Governor Sonwolu for his efforts in making the people of Ekbe happy. He's somebody that listened to our call, our crying, our shouting. And then uh, he looked into it and do it in a perfect way by doing a concrete uh, road. I think we should thank His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State. He's a uh, uh, um, Governor Sawolu, for a job well done. And you see, there's something about his own system. All the abandoned projects within Lagos State, not a quite alone, he made sure he completed it. Which the successor before has not done. We people like something, we call it continuity. Continuity of the government that is the one that makes the government and then they make people move forward. And uh, it uh, tries to attract the investors. And that, that's what Tawolo has done with his uh, team to make sure that uh, the ghost state is moving. And when we talk of it, uh, the abandoned project is at uh, Tokeimbo, down to Oluo Market, which now is going on for completion. I think it's a very big advantage and a big uh, work that he has done in Nekbe. God will bless him. He's, he will be a successful man in life. And then at the same time, he will be a man of God. And God will be with him all the time through his tenor and then even coming one. Because 
Nobody knows the limit. God knows the limit of everybody. So we are pleased that God should try to move him up. I think we say good thanks. And then on behalf of I, the family, and my family, and the whole entire people of Ekwe, we say a big thanks to Governor Sonwoldo that is doing well to Ekwe. God guard him. In his speech, Oba Olufolari expressed his joy over the approval of the road construction. He further talked about the benefits of the completion of the road and its positive effect in Ekwe. He talked about other sectors the government should look into. He concluded his speech by thanking the government and advised the people of Ekpe to maintain the road as this will encourage the government to do more. I, it is very, very well, feel very, very elated when you, you have the news that uh, Clarion Corps for the Okoyibo Road that links uh, up with Obafema Olo away in Ekpe is about to be concluded and completed. Um, as the normalist, as the addict says, it's better late than never. We've been expecting that this would have been done a long while ago, but we want to extend our appreciation to the Lagos State Governor and the SA Works and Infrastructure as well as the section of the deputy governor for graciously approving that that road should be completed. Uh, before now, the road has been a dead trap. There has been so many accidents that have happened on that road. And the, that road itself, the completion is highly significant because it is the main link between our own local government here, Iredo LCDA, with the Express Central uh, muni municipality. As you are aware, there is a jetty that is being proposed to be on the marina for transporting people from Lagos uh, Metropolis, Lagos Island, through the uh, Ibeju Leki axis to Epehe. And that is expected to uh, assist in moving people from here down to Lagos uh, Metropolis. And this is one of the things that we have been clamoring for, the multimodal mode of uh, transportation, whereby we take advantage of the aquatic uh, splendor of Lagos by making use of the waterways for transportation. It's also going to aid our tourism potential as well, because people can actually now come from Lagos once the jetty also com complete, completed to come and uh, enjoy the tourist potentials of uh, the whole of our Ekwe axis here. And then it is also gratifying that the Fort Mainland Bridge is coming forth very, very soon, according to, the, to Mr. Governor. But we also implore them that they should look at uh, linking Ekpe through the lagoon to the Dangote refinery. As you all know, people don't really, won't really like to live around the refinery. They would rather prefer to be living here and be going to work there. So providing a bridge across the lagoon to link with the refinery would not be a bad idea. And we would be very, very happy if Mr. Governor and his team who look into this area. All in all, we want to thank the government for sticking to the team's agenda, which is a well laid down uh, 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 project that, I mean, well laid down program for taking care of various infrastructural projects, cutting across all sectors, education, transport, technology, tourism, and so on and so forth. So, and if you look at all this, we have so many things that we can actually point out to show that the team's agenda also is being entrenched in the whole of a play division as a whole. We want to thank Mr. Governor for this, and we want to implore him that uh, this year being the penultimate year to the 2023 election, 
all those promises that he has made during his campaign, particularly for our Ekpe division here, should be fulfilled uh, so that uh, our people will be very happy with the government. On our own part, we'll continue to ensure that those facilities, we as royal fathers will ensure that they are not uh, destroyed or damaged. They will be well protected and uh, we will be looking forward to many other amenities that will make life easier and more comfortable for our people. We cannot thank them enough, but we, like Oliver Twist, we're asking for more so that uh, Ekpe Division will also be at par with other divisions in Lagos State. It is said that you can't know where the shoe really hurts until you try it on. Who else is in a better position to share their views on the road construction, if not the people of Ekpe? We took out time to chat with some of them who had some things to say. Very better position. The location is okay. We, we need this thing. It has denied so many people in the Luo market, the Jubilee, the access road. So people, even when you show them the, the Jubilee, when they, came to, when they come to this area, they find it difficult. How can this kind of road be there? But now they are doing it. It is a great access to that area. The Jubilee, the waterfront, and the fish market. They, it is an access road. It, look at the court is here, and we have other roads. It's going to leak the major road there. So it is something that we, we need. It is something we, we needed before now, but we thank God it is now coming at this point in time. It's very well as we are now coming to this place because we have been expecting it since 2017. Now that you come, we really say okay to you. But don't forget that place. We still have to remember and go like this because this one leads to Itamaru, which is when they are coming there, they have to be going far to that place. You are very excellent. So when lawyers are coming from Lagos, instead of coming all the way to Ayetoro, all the way to the junction there, they could just bypass it, avoiding the traffic log over there, and it will take them straight to the court through the marina. If we can have a crossover bridge from marina all the way down there, and then it will link again to J4, as they said, there is a plan going on from Dangote Refinery across to the uh, Bini Jebo, the express road. So that would be very nice. It will make it better to be strategically anchored in Lagos State, which will link other states directly to Lagos. So instead of coming all the way to Ijebode, Ekwe, going to uh, Victoria Island, you can just link it straight away to Ibejuleki and all the way to Victoria Island. It will be a beautiful idea if it could be carried out. And then strategically, we can also get um, water transportation from here, connected straight either to Dangote or to Lagos Island, and then ferry. So it will save us a lot of time from crossing in Lagos in the traffic by using the transport, uh, water transportation to get across to Lagos Island, which would be perfect. When they started last week, I thought uh, it's a joke. But now I come to reality. Thank God, it's a very job done. And I credit the governor, the deputy governor, who have already made alliance that uh, they are coming to do it. It's one of the program governor Saolu promised us in this town. And this is the only road remaining. And this is called Awolowa Road. Straight to the Tamaru. I think we thank God, we thank God, I give kudos to them. A lot of accidents, Okada managing the other side of the river, before this, when people came, they first scrapped that side so that the Okada can be going up and down. You see, a lot of accidents, a lot along this road. So even, some people even, before midnight, do a lot of rubbish along that road. In the, in the name of darkness, but now, we thank God, everything is over. And really late, it's finished, everybody will be happy. We turn up belong in this area. In fact, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good project. <laughs>
due to its strategic location and its nearness to most important places in the community. This is the Accord Log reporting. Kindly follow us across all of our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, hi, I'm Joy Udo. Thanks for watching.